Bearstein Bears Visit the Dentist by Stan and Jan Bearstein. One morning, Sister Bear woke up in the same old bed, in the same old pajamas, and yawned the same old yawn. But something was different. I have a loose tooth, she told Brother Bear. Well, push it back and forth with your tongue, and maybe it'll come out, yawned Brother, and turned over to go back to sleep. Then what? asked Sister. Brother told her about the tooth fairy, and she wanted to hear it again. Then put it under your pillow, and the tooth fairy will take it away and leave a new coin in its place. But, Brother added, be sure to tell Mama all about it first. Later at breakfast, when Mama was reminding Brother that he had a dentist appointment after school, she noticed that Sister is eating funny. She has a loose tooth, Brother explained. When will it come out, said Sister, wiggling it with her tongue. I'm going to put it under my pillow for the tooth fairy. If she doesn't wiggle it out, she can come to the dentist with us and he can yank it out, Brother Grinch. Never mind that kind of talk, said Mama. Dr. Bear said, doesn't yank. He's very gentle and very careful. I'll go. I'll get it out myself. Therm time, sister shouted as brother hopped onto the big yellow school bus. But sister was still wiggling her tooth, her loose tooth. When, with her tongue, when she and Mama met Brother after school and went to the dentist. If they'll thuck, said Sister, showing Dr. Bearson her loose tooth. Well, said the dentist, I'll have a look at it after I explain, examine Brother's teeth. You can stand on the stool and watch, if that's all right with Brother. Sure, said Brother, and climbed into the special cub seat in the big dentist chair. She can watch me and see how it's done. The poor brother, sorry, brother had been to the dentist before and he couldn't help showing off just a little. Sister watched as Dr. Bearson checked one of brother's teeth with a special little tool. How do you see the backs? She said. With this, with this little mirror, said the dentist. Here, have a look. Wow, sister said. Sister, looking into the, looking into Brother Bear's mouth, it looks like a cave, a cave with a tongue. Well, Doctor Bearson checked Brother's, Brother Bear's teeth. Sister looked at the other tooth on his work tray. There were little picks, a scraper, a tamper, and uh, a yanker. She had become so interested that she had forgotten all about her loose tooth. She went to work wiggling again. She wiggled hard, but it was still stuck. There were some other interesting dentist thing. A water squirter for rinsing, an air squirter for drying, and a little drip on the end of a big hinged arm for cleaning out a cavity. And brother bear sorry, and brother had a cavity. It's just a tiny one, said Dr. Bearson. In the last, in the last of your baby molars, but it's best to fill it, fill it to keep it from getting bigger. Hmm," said brother bravely. "I'm glad it's not me," thought sister, still wiggling. After Doctor Barrison cleaned out the cavity, 
He rinsed it with the water squirt and dried it with the air squirter. He mixed up some filling cement and filled it. He gently tamped the filling down and scraped it smooth. A final rinse and brother jumped down as good as nail. Your turn, he said. Bravely, sister climbed into, climbed up into the cub's seat, still wiggling, but that loose tooth just didn't come out, just didn't seem to want to come out. Hmm, said the dentist, looking at the tooth. Oh, said sister, waiting for him to reach for those anchors. But while she waited, Dr. Burson gripped the tooth with a piece of gauze and gave it a tuck. And out it came. Sister looked at the tooth. It was very tiny. Dr. Bearson gave it to her to keep. Now it was her turn to hop down as good as new. Don't I get a lollipop or something for being good as she is, brother? You get a balloon, he said. Lollipops aren't good for your teeth. The next morning, sister plunged her hand under her pillow and found a shiny new den where her tooth had been. The tooth fairy came. She told brother, I told you she would. He yawned. Then she ran into the next room to show mom her shiny new den. The end.